Funny how marriage works. So you married, but y'all not having sex. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So I am Michael Jr. This is my amazing wife, Ebony. We are currently, as we record this video, on tour doing the Funny How Marriage Works tour. We're laughing, having fun, and a bunch of people are coming out, and it's awesome. If you want to join us, you can. It's going to be great. How are you? How are you doing? Great. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Excellent. Amazing. So we're going to answer that question that popped in. Who did that question come from? I think it came from Facebook. Sound like a Facebook question. Uh, mm -hmm. From how do you say the name? Dear Mertz. Dear Mertz asked a question. I'll read this one. It's kind of interesting. It says, uh, I've always felt like the whole point of getting married was for God blessed intercourse. Am I wrong? The whole point? <laughs> yes, you are incorrect. <laughs> That is not the whole reason. It is a really good reason, but it's it's not it's not the whole it's not the whole reason at all. Like in fact, there's some other reasons. Like what? Like goodness. Oh my gosh, there's some there's some great things about marriage that people don't know about until they get married. Like how God helps me become better by my interactions with my husband. Like nobody thinks about that part. Like I get to be a better, more whole, more freer person because of sometimes the conflicts that we have. Yeah. That's an awesome benefit. Yeah. It's almost like see, one, one thing that we kind of show people, and listen, we're not saying we got all the answers. I've said this before. We're not marriage experts. We've been married one time. That's it. But here's what would help so much in marriage. Most people get married with this mindset. They're, they're like, this is the person I'm married. I love them so much and they love me so much. They're never going to push my buttons and make me upset. That's what they think, which jacks you up for marriage because that is never the case. Mm -hmm. The mindset you should have, because this will prepare you for what she was just talking about and growing and being a better human person, all a human being all around is what if you had the mindset when you walk down the aisle, this is the person that I love so much. I trust them to push all my buttons so I could better understand who I am and walk in my purpose. Whoa, that changes everything because now you're expecting, you know there's gonna be some conflict, but the conflict is only there so you can get better. Mm -hmm. Iron can't sharpen iron without some friction. So I think I'll leave it at that maybe. Oh, um, you wanna tell them about the uh, conflict assessment? So we have a marriage how are we saying it? They, we created this thing. We wrote it out. We came with the, We didn't come up with the title, though. It's a conflict resolution style assessment. Yes. So you have a way that you, you attempt to resolve conflict. The question is, is it working? Like you have a style in which you say, this is how we're going to handle this conflict. Is it actually working? We put together a quiz that you could actually take, and it'd be awesome. I think you'll learn a lot about who you are and even some stuff about where you're going. And it's completely free. You just, where did it go? They go to um, funnyhowmarriageworks.com slash quiz, or you can check the show notes or the, the, the comments, or I don't know, you know where to look. So boom, there it is. We absolutely love you. Go find out some more about yourself and have an amazing marriage because it is funny how marriage works.